everybody, it's me, Ava, and welcome back to Ava's Weekly Recap, where I, Ava, try to get my first flip at 17 years old with the help of the Milwaukee Re-Mentoring Program. First, we do a week overview, and then we go over the lessons I learned. Week number five, let's get into it. So, starting off with the week overview, we always talk about my numbers. Always on track, baby. Always on track. I did quite a bit of cold calling this week, and the pickup ratio this week was not too bad, not too bad. Last week I had kind of an off week, but this week was much better. I also did accidentally call my old biology teacher. And then I also did some kind of just cold texting. And you would be surprised by how many people actually answer text. They are a little braver over text, so you will get more people cussing you out, but a lot of more people to respond to text because I guess it's just 2022, y'all. Are you more likely to pick up a phone call or respond to a text? For most people, it's gonna be respond to a text. Number two, I did a lot of administrative work. Boring. Building lists, organizing lists, scrubbing lists. Yada, yada, yada. I hate admin work because it's work that needs to be done, but it doesn't make me feel the way cold calling makes me feel, if you know what I mean. Cold calling makes me feel accomplished and productive. Like I'm actually getting somewhere. Even if I don't get a lead from cold calling, at least I put the work in to try to get that lead. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel satisfied after I cold call, but when I'm doing admin work, I just feel unproductive and it's frustrating. I have no idea if you understand what I meant. Number three, I had a walkthrough. Had a walkthrough, yay, yay, yay. This person had their house assessed in 2021 for like a certain number that was actually less than 70% of the ARV. So that's a really good thing. So I was like, why not? Let's go out, walk through the property you know before walkthrough when you like set the arv and then you actually go to the property and you realize yeah definitely gonna lower the arv on this one yeah that was one of those properties for sure this property actually didn't even have a basement just where we live basements are common hey guys it's editing ava but i did want to point out i actually had to go in my basement today for a tornado warning so yes basements are very common in the area and that just like kind of took off a lot of money on the ARV. At the end of the day, I got the numbers and I realized this offer is just way too low. So what I did was I was like, you know what, <laughs> man, I, I recommend you go the MLS route. You're gonna get more bang for your buck than what I can offer you. He was like, no, give me the offer. I want to know the number. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. I was like embarrassed to say it because it was so low, but I ended up saying it and he was so dang offended. And I was like, buddy, I told you I didn't want to give it. The offer's really low. That sucks. Whatever. Number four, number four, driving for dollar dates. So as I told you guys, me and Ben take driving for dollars and just make it a date night. We'll get food, blast the music loud, drive for dollars, talk about our days and just have fun. So we did that again. But I'm just saying guys, if you have a significant other or a really good friend, drive for dollars with them. It'll be so fun. Number five, one of my walkthroughs got canceled. Hey guys, I have been nurturing this lead for so long, months. This property is in the best location ever and they want to sell at such a discounted price. It's just such a weird situation. Finally set up the walkthrough. I was so happy. I almost cried. Like we finally set it up and then they called and canceled. I mean, I understand. They realized they didn't want to sell for like another year. It happens and it sucks, but. Number six, we have another walkthrough. So I'm actually filming this video today a day early. The week does not end till tomorrow. And I have that walkthrough I'm talking about right now tomorrow. So I'll insert all the clips and videos I got from the walkthrough into here, but you're gonna have to watch the next video to see if I actually secured this deal. I know I said I was gonna take pictures and videos, but uh, you know when it's just not the time or place? It was not the time or place to be taking pictures or videos. We're gonna go back for another walkthrough, but this first one, no. Basically, the story with this one is we've been, we kind of met this seller out of the blue, but when we met them, like we weren't like targeting them. They came to us. It was kind of different. So we didn't actually know the address of the property until a couple of days ago, me and Ben. So we set up a walkthrough this week. We, when we found out this address, this guy we've been talking to for weeks, when we found it out, we were like, oh my God, we have both seen this house hundreds of times. I know this house like the back of my head, the outside, because I always drive past it and I'm like, that would be such a good flip. How oh, freaking crazy how the world works, but... Now we're gonna be talking about the lessons I learned. Number one is sometimes people change their mind and decide they don't wanna sell anymore and that's totally fine. It's their house, their property, get over it, Ava. Number two, know when to say no. People wanna waste your time all the time, but you have to learn when to say no. Number three, sometimes the best option is just not to say the offer price because sometimes it'll just hurt you and ruin your relationship that you had with the seller. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Will I get a flip next week? I don't know, but you gotta watch the weekly update for next week. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.